listening or you have listened to the first part of this series that I'm doing on grief, grieving. And the, the last one I did was on the, the idea of grieving the loss that you're experiencing possibly through this coronavirus, the, the quarantine, the lockdown, the, the sense of not having the normalcy you once had. And now that you are having feelings that you may not even realize what they are. And I wanted to share that there are possibly feelings of grief because you've lost your normal routine, right? The people that you would gather around on a normal basis at work or in the school setting, or you have lost, you're losing your savings, your business, the clients you had or used to have. And so income generation is also part of the loss you're experiencing. And I shared about the early stages of grief is denial. Denying that it's really happening or ignoring or not wanting to admit what it is you're experiencing. Or looking at it as this will pass real quickly. And that was the hope that we all had initially. Well, most people that I know had that. You've not lost hope, which is really important, right? Make sure that you never lose hope. Hope is important in this time that we are now, we find ourselves in. But today I want to share with you the second stage of grief. Now, I mentioned in the first video that I'm using, using Elizabeth Kubler-Ross's five stages of grief or it's really death and dying but this is on the grief i the grief aspect of what we experience in life and so maybe you're grieving and not realizing it the feelings you're having and did not associate that possibly with grief now the second stage is anger anger because you you're angry at possibly things that you have no control over. You're angry as you see a an evaporation, right, of the things that you held to. Money is going out and nothing coming back in. You're probably angry at God for possibly not intervening and doing something about what we're experiencing. You're angry at possibly the government or the healthcare system. You're possibly angry now that you felt betrayed or felt like something is not happening fast enough. And, and, and anger, again, is a normal emotion we all have. But when it's, when it's um, in the context of grieving, it's a different type of anger. It's not necessarily the anger that drives us to take action to do something that is productive or constructive. But this anger is one mostly around blame, whether it's self-blame, others blame. But it's, it's a, the anger that really could be one that will, could do you in, right? You're, you're feeling angry that you never did something that you possibly should have done and you're beating yourself up. You're angry that you never had saved the money that you should have saved or this or that, you know, that kind of anger. And it's, it could be from a regret. It could be from you, you find yourself in a situation right now or a place right now with people that you're angry with and you're grieving, it's a grief. You're angry that your relationships may not be what it ought to be. Because this time is showing up some things that really possibly we never had before. Maybe you're angry that one of the losses you're experiencing happened at the time it did. And maybe angry at the people that 
are part of this whole experience you're now having in. Well, what do you do with this? Well, remember, um, the thing to remember is this, that you're in a stage, you're in a process. This too will pass. This too will pass. But identify the emotion. It's anger. Now, the question is, what do you do with anger? Well, you can begin to create a new narrative, new story, you know, around what it is you're experiencing. It could be where you're thing that saying to yourself, well, you know, what I'm experiencing right now is normal and I've just got to walk it through. Maybe talk to someone. Maybe it's having a coach or a, a therapist, a counselor to help you now in the stage you find yourself. But reach out to someone. You don't want to just bottle this by yourself and not do something about it. You just don't want to walk this through by yourself. This is an important part of identifying the emotion, but not behaving around it, not making decisions, not quickly acting, you know, reacting to your feelings. It's important that you reach out to someone at this stage because they will help you to normalize what it is you're feeling because of how you're thinking the, the, story, the stories that are surrounding your feelings, right? So it's important to, to reach out to someone. And if you maybe want to reach out to me as, you know, in my therapy role, I, you know, not only do I speak to business owners or corporations on emotional intelligence and leadership skills and helping, you know, conflict resolutions and so on, toxicity in the workplace. But this is also true as a counselor, a licensed clinician, is something toxic to your system that we want to remove, we want to reduce, we want to wipe out, we want to get rid of. And so you need to reach out to someone. And you can see, if you want to reach out to me, I want to put on the screen, it's scrolling at the bottom. You can see how you can connect with me and we could probably see if I could help you in this regards. So look, I wanted to share with that, that with you today. And I hope this is a uh, a way of helping you. So tomorrow, I'm sorry, the next video could be here, whenever that is. The next video that follows this one is stage three, right? And the stage three is on bargaining. And we'll talk about that at the next video. So make sure you're following, you're sharing these videos, you're liking. And if you're commenting or asking questions, write down there in the comment section, make sure that you are enter, you're engaging with me. I would love to help you in some ways I possibly can. So do not delay, don't wait, make sure we do that, right? So again, I want to say thank you for taking the time to to listen and to engage and to interact. And let us continue to work through these stages we find ourselves in. Remember, you're one scale away, one scale from your best hope. And that's what I'm trying to help you with. With that said, my friend, I want to let you know today, peace out, God bless, and I'll see you on the Flip side. Yeah.